So it turns out it's actually pretty straightforward to build something like the Oculus Rift. So here I have a computer with a modern graphics card that can do the display warping required to counteract the lenses, a gyroscope so that as you rotate it around, the view follows around, uh, and I found some lenses. There's actually two lenses on each side, um, because just the one lens wasn't enough magnification for me. And then I have clued together some kind of input device. This is a uh, Arduino and a bunch of stuff. So I have a Minty Boost converting the three volt batteries to five volts. Um, that's just wired into the ground and five volt lines. There's a switch for it. Um, this is the Spark Fun joystick shield. Underneath that we have the Red Bear Labs Bluetooth Low Energy Shield. And beneath that we have just an Arduino Uno. And so... When it's connected, you can fly around. And with the lenses on it, it looks like you're in the world. You can watch over there as I look around and go places. So right now the code for this is pretty terrible looking. Um, I'm not going to show you that today. Maybe I'll put it online. But the mesh in here is just hard-coded. Here's 114,000 floats. And everything else looks pretty terrible. Uh, but it was fun to get working. And I won't actually be able to get an Oculus Rift for a couple months presumably because they aren't shipping them very quickly. So that's why this is still interesting now. Uh, it turns out that the price in parts for this kind of stuff is really inexpensive. Um, the Arduino is 30 bucks, the Minty Boost is 20 bucks, the Joystick Shield is 10 or 15 bucks, the Bluetooth Low Energy Shield is probably the most expensive at like 40 bucks. The lenses are five bucks a piece. The foam core and shoe box I had lying around. The tape was cheap. Cheap stuff. Thanks a lot.